What is up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at Drekstar, he is one of the OGs, he's been in the game since forever, and he is also a champion that everyone can get. So if we hop into Tag Arena, go into the Bazaar, you'll find him here, um, obviously I got him years ago, but he'll be here, and it'll take a few months to get him, but he's definitely worth the wait. Um, make sure you save some books from as well because he is a hard carry. Um, he can be used in so much content. Um, Spider, Doom Tower Waves, Doom Tower Bosses, and I've even seen him used in Rotation 3 for Amos as well. Just such a hard carry, like such an amazing champion. Also, just like love his look as well. So we've got flames going through him. One of the best looking shields, like an absolute boss of a shield and tasty little sword going on as well. So what we'll do is we'll go through the gear, then the skills, then the masteries, and then I'll do a run in Spider and Doom Tower. So for his gear, we've got him in Lifesteal and Perception. Uh, with Lifesteal, you know, you could mix up a bit. You could go Regen. Um, you could even, you know, just go full Perception or maybe Resistance gear as well if you've got um, champions that can heal him. If not, you know, he can solo content as well. So that's why I like him in Lifestyle or Regen. And I'm just going to say as well, uh, this is a very, very old build. Like I built him years ago and you can see we've got loads of five star pieces of gear, which I hope makes it feel like a little bit more free to play uh, friendly. So the stats we want to be looking for are speed and accuracy first as our primary stats. Then we want to look for secondary, which is HP percentage, defense and resistance. And on the gloves, we've got um, defense, HP on the chest, and then speed on the boots, uh, HP on the ring. And this is a nice ring as well. You know, we've got sub, uh, sub stats in um, HP percentage and defense percentage as well. So this is like a god tier ring um, defense on the amulet. And again, we've got subs in accuracy and resistance. And then we've got a five star banner, one roll in speed, and it's a resistance banner. Um, obviously, at the time, it was the best that I had, but it's still, you know, it's not too bad. Like, obviously, the attack's not going to help us, but the HP and defense will. So, total stats, we are rocking 65k HP, 3.8k defense, really, really tanky. I mean, I could probably bump that up to, when I say, do a little bit more damage. Um, but yeah, and that's where all his damage will come from as well. Um, I have seen nuke builds for him as well. So, you know, you could go full savage really push up that defense because he does hit hard on his A2. Um, 207 speed. His speed, you want to be at least sort of like where I am or faster, but he doesn't need to be too fast because of his passive. Um, and then we've got um, 352 resistance and 360 accuracy. So skills, his passive, Fiery Blood, has a 55% chance Books up to 75. Yeah, 75% chance of placing HP burn debuff for two turns on the attacker when hit. And it also increases resistance by 10 for every enemy under a HP burn, stacks up to 50%. So, you know, people are going to be hitting him and he's going to be throwing out HP burns everywhere. This is why he's so good for Spider. But yeah, so he's going to throw out loads of HP burns and he will get that extra. 50%, uh, sorry, 50%, no, 50 resistance. I mean, 50% resistance will be absolutely broken. But yeah, no, it's just a 50 uh, resistance, but that's great. That will make him even harder to kill. Um, A2 attacks on means and has a 40%, books up to 60% chance of placing provoke debuff for one turn. This chance is increased to 100% chance if the target is under a HP burn. Also, will place a decrease attack debuff for two turns if, and it's a big if, if the pre uh, sorry, if the provoke debuff is placed. So um, obviously like on Hydra, the head of cleansing, if um, that's the only head that we can uh, place that decrease attack on, which is a little bit annoying, it'd be great if he could throw it on all of the heads. I know that Drexstar can be used for Hydra, um, but he's just, it's just like if he just had that little tweak, 
he'd be so much better, but still he's really, really good for Hydra. And again, he will throw out all those HP burns everywhere. Probably falls off after hard, but still normal and hard, he is usable. A1 attacks one enemy three times, has a 30% chance of placing HP burn debuff for two turns. Heals this champion by 20% of the damage inflicted if the target is under a HP burn. And of course, they probably are going to be under HP burn. So he doesn't need to be fully booked. I would put books in the passive and the A2, and we can try to skip the A1. But yeah, but um, also having a triple hit as well means that he can be used in Finite as well. Um, I probably only use him in like stage 20. And then hopefully when you're pushing to 25 or into hard mode, you'll have better champions by then. But yeah, still, he is usable with that triple hitter for normal level 20. He also has a, a huge aura as well, increasing ally accuracy in all battles by 70%. So some people using him for Amos for this because you need a lot of accuracy for that. Also for Doom Tower bosses as well, if you need that accuracy, it's there. And it is, it's one of the best auras you can get in the game. Not only is it 70%, but it's all battles as well. Huge, huge, huge. So for Blessings, um, I've gone for Brimstone. Uh, it's just so good on him. Obviously, he's going to be throwing out Brimstone a lot. And with a triple attack on the A1, very good chance of landing it. Um, I feel like you could probably go for... Uh, Warden of the Fallen, so get that bone armor, makes us even tankier, even harder to kill. Um, I don't know, there has been a change in blessings recently, so I mean, bone armor and smite would be the way to go for me. However, you know, there are some new blessings out, so if anyone, you know, has any blessings that they'd recommend on him, please let us know in the comments below, help everyone out. Um, because yeah, the blessings have changed a lot. And maybe something sneaked on the radio, uh, on the radiator, under the radar that I don't know about. So yeah, definitely, let definitely let us know. So yeah, masteries. So he has really, really specific masteries. I'm just gonna hide myself for a second, so you guys can see the masteries. So going into support tree, making sure we get that accuracy. Um, taking cycle of magic just to try and reduce the cooldown on our A2. And then Sniper to increase the chance of landing those HP burns. And then Master Hexer to keep those HP burns on for longer. And that decrease attack as well. But um, yeah, but really, really nice. Like, yeah, definitely have to go Sniper. You definitely have to go Master Hexer. Then in the offense tree, we're taking some extra crit rate. Taking some crit damage. And then basically everything to help us do more damage to bosses. And taking Life Drinker to keep our HP topped up. And then you have to go Giant Slayer because of that triple hitter on the A1. So we've looked at the gear, we've looked at the masteries. Now let's uh, take him into Spider and watch him in action. Okay guys, so I've just thrown together a random team. We've got Double Cold Heart for that Terminator manipulation. Then we've got uh, Stag Knight for our decreased defense, decreased attack, and throw out a slow on the boss. Then obviously Drexar in the lead for the HP burns and then Godseeker to keep the squad alive, keep healing us up. So because we are the weak affinity against the boss, the Spiderlings should attack us and that means we're going to throw out loads of HP burns. Uh, it is going to be quite a slow run. I know that I could probably build a team that could do this in under 30 seconds, but I do want to try and showcase uh, Drexar. And you can see he's just resisting all those poisons that the spilings throw out. Uh, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. So, whoa, doing quite well. Already got the boss down to half HP. Um, we do need our cold hearts to hit hard with those hard seekers, not just pushing back that Termia, but also bringing in that big boy damage to push back the boss. And then it's just about the HP burn. Sort of when the boss gets about halfway through his HP, that's when the HP burns start to tick on the spiderlings and the boss, and you'll see he just starts to drop. But yeah, we're doing this pretty comfortably, pretty safe run, and that's what we want. And yeah, Stag Knight is helping out a huge amount with that drop defense. And then obviously Cold Heart, probably the greatest rare of all time. I can't think of a rare that is used and does more than Cold Heart. Ah. Oh. Got a little bit unlucky there. You can see that um, the boss managed to just heal up all of his turn meter. 
I don't think either of my cold hearts have really any accuracy on them just because of the way that the game's changed and for end game content, I don't need them to have accuracy. So that's probably why there's no um, hill reduction on the boss, but otherwise, you know, they'd be landing that and it would be easy. But yeah, almost there, guys. And hopefully one of these cold hearts, I just hope they just pop off and finish the boss off. Yeah, just not landing those hill reductions at all. Come on. Yeah, and the HP burns are starting to trigger. And there we go. Sit down, boy, sit down. All right, so, whoa, I mean, yeah, one of these cold hearts is definitely way stronger than the other. Almost in four mil, and the other one doing 1.9 mil. You can see Drekstar doing 3.6 mil damage. I mean, just from his HP burns, that is huge. But yeah, like, it's such a boss. Um, but yeah, I definitely could have switched this up and maybe bring, like, what would pair up really nicely with this is you could either, like, bring in some ally protection or big fat shields from, like, Miscreate Monster. Or the other thing would be something that activates HP burns. Uh, that would work really, really nicely with him. So let's uh, let's hop into Doom Tower and have a run in there as well, guys. Let's do a run on the hardest floor of Doom Tower for Aragoth, the Eternal Dragon. So this is the team that I'm running. We got Mithrala, Drex, Jareg, Sil, and Paidma. Um, it's quite a slow run. It's about five minutes. So I'm going to skip ahead and then get to the boss, and then I'll talk you through the team comp and what everyone's roles are. Okay, and we're on the boss. So how the boss works is he's gonna put our skills on cooldown and he's constantly been doing that throughout the fight. So um, what you can do is you just need a decent amount of resistance to resist those, but we've got loads of healing going on in the team. And Jareg, you know, he's gonna throw out ally protection. He's gonna be healing us. Seal, the Drakes is gonna be healing as well. Um, and then Mithrala, she's going to be throwing out poisons, throwing out hex, doing loads of damage. Uh, Drex is going to slowly chip at the way at the boss with his passive. And that's one of the things that people probably use the most on him is, is his passive is used to cheese content. Because it just doesn't matter if you lock him out or freeze him or whatever. He's going to just be throwing out those HP burns all day long. Um, then Padme is just in there for Padme, Padmea is just going to be in there to throw out decrease attack on all the you know on the boss and on the his minions as well and that's just going to help keep the team alive and that's literally it so we're just going to slowly chip away at the boss and i'll come back when the boss has gone down and that's it we just took the boss down see you later buddy so four minutes, 19, 82 turns, not bad at all. So let's just have a look at the damage. Whoa, Drekstar almost at four mil by himself. And Mithrala obviously, you know, throws out poisons and he's obviously landing smite a lot as well. Only doing 1.1 million. So yeah, as you can see, he's like a huge carry. And without him, you know, this would be a lot harder. Uh, let's also just hop on Hell Hades website and I will show you all of the Doom Tower bosses that I use him for. Okay, so we're on Hell Hades website. Let's see what bosses we can use him against. So we cannot use him against the Magma Dragon. He will heal off our HP burns. He is an absolute boss against the Frost Spider. Great against the Nether Spider as well. Uh, not so hot against the Scarab King, but you, there are things that you can do to make him work for it. Obviously, amazing for Eternal Dragon. Uh, yeah, it can be used against the Griffin as well. Not against Bommel. You could use him for Dark Fae um, as the go second to provoke the rest of your team. So yeah, he can fill that role as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So out of the eight bosses, he can be used for six of them. That is how good Drekstar is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash 
that subscribe and I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.